I'm Mick Garris, and this is Trailers from Hell. And this time around, we're going to talk about one of the least heralded films of one of our most heralded filmmakers, Steven Spielberg's 1941. Spielberg is the guy who dared give me a career, and maybe he'll live to regret it if he hasn't already. The year was 1979, and I was hired to write a book on the making of The Incredible Shrinking Woman, which at that time John Landis was attached to direct. So I shadowed him on the set of 1941, where he was shooting his cameo outside the movie theater where Dumbo was playing. It was the first time I ever saw the Luma crane in use. William Fraker was using this remote-controlled crane that has since become a staple of filmmaking, but it was astonishing. And that was just the first of many amazing production techniques used on this very expensive comedy. There was almost a competition between Landis and Spielberg to make the biggest, most expensive comedy at the time. Both of them, I think, came in somewhere close to $30 million each. Landis was making The Blues Brothers, and ironically, both films featured John Belushi and Dan Aykroyd, who were both doing Saturday Night Live at the time. 1941 was sort of like It's a Mad, 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 Mad World from 1963, a very oversized comedy with lots and lots of movie stars and comedic stars. Often a huge budget can be at odds with comedy. It seems to play best when it feels off the cuff and spontaneous. And when you have a production of this size and scope, it really did not work in concert with the laughs. There's a lot of amazing stuff as far as the filmmaking goes, but I think the comedy is a little bit labored at times, you might say. This was Spielberg's first movie to show his interest in World War II, which he has since done many serious films about. But this one was the comedic one, and it showed a lot of his influences from his youth, from Dumbo to all of the great World War II movies, the big dance sequences that, are, that stand out. So there's a lot of things to love about this movie. It's just the comedy that doesn't quite work all the way through. 